I was shot in the line of duty as a Charleston County police officer. Uh, I was transporting a prisoner, and this was prior to the days we had cages on our cruises. En route, he attempted to uh, come across the seat, kick me in the back of the head, came across the seat in the struggle. And as I, I started getting out the door, uh, he, he had grabbed my weapon, which we didn't have the same type of holsters at the time, and he fired from almost down on the floorboard and hit my right shoulder, and the bullet severed my, cut my spine. And he pushed me on out of the car, took off in the car, but we got caught later. Block down the road, it got caught. Well, I'm a person that's always had a positive attitude. If there's a problem, there's got to be a solution. And so, I mean, right in the ICU, I was asking them what was the next step. And uh, I was lucky, that, not lucky in that I had a good employer that took care of my metal tools and work comp. My, I didn't have to worry about my uh, living expenses or my medical expenses. And they were willing to do to go the whole nine yards. And we found the best rehab program at that time was in uh, Warren Springs, Georgia. It was a hospital started by Frank Melville Roosevelt. Very good facility. And so the, the, it was a lot different back then. Back then I, I was in Roper Hospital for 100 days before I was transported down to the rehab center. Now they do that a lot quicker. But I rehabbed, it was a good program when I got down there. They started how to tell, teach me the proper way to use a chair, how to do things in my everyday life, you know, how to get dressed, how to move the chair, how to transfer. Uh, it took a while. And it, it was two years before I learned how to actually dress myself. I had to have assistance for a long time. I've always enjoyed talking with people about my life or my lifestyle and because I think the insight gives them a little bit more guidance that so they can take to the clients that they will treat in the future of ways to, that's not in the book, things that they can learn or that I can give them some insight and direction on. I've, I'm, a, I'm kind of one of the odd quads. I was hurt in 1970. It's December would be 42 years. My life expectancy when I got when I got released was five years. I mean, I've outlived statistics, and so I've got a lot more knowledge of things that's going on. 42 years and direct towards a disability, and different things. Things have changed a lot. Technology's got better. It's helped me improve. It's helped the whole society improve. Oh, the technology has just got tremendous. The first vehicle I got that I could actually uh, drive without uh, transferring into it was a, a police paddy wagon with an old lift on it in 1974, four years I forget, sure. And it, 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 that lift was run by cables and it would break down and pop and give me all kinds of trouble. But they went to hydraulics, now electric, and now. Instead of vans, we used we got pickup trucks, we got cars. AW Chief Wheelchair Quality, Low Country Wheelchair Sports. This organization was started by a physical therapist, Jill Monger, back in 1990, where she just took some of her clients and got money, donate money, and packed them up and took them to different. Uh, wheelchair track events. That was about the only thing going on back then, but she knew of them. She'd take them all the way down to Florida. Then in 91, when I met her, I got involved with it with her, and, and a friend of mine who had been recently hurt, a boy named Jeannie Wellens, he got into wheelchair racing, and he couldn't drive at the time, so when I would take him to his races, and I started getting more involved in the sports. I, I started play. I didn't race. I tried it one time. didn't like it. but. Uh, I got into 
tennis. Uh, tennis was my game for a lot of years. I traveled a lot to go play in tennis tournaments. And then I got to play some basketball, coach basketball, wheelchair basketball for a couple of years. But I've got older now and I just, about the only sport I play is pool. And I played that a couple of nights a week and I like it because it's air conditioned. <laughs>